Hello and welcome to whiskey.com and today we have a little bit of an extra video about fermentation because I just found here a nice place to talk about it at Ockentoshen Distillery and fermentation is key to making whiskey because here is the first time that really you can have a big impact on your flavors and you can create flavors. How are these flavors created? You have uh, your malted uh, barley, which's been ground down, and it's very sugary, has a few starches in there and a few proteins and everything. So it's perfect for um, yeah, growing stuff too. Yeah. Then you add the yeast, and the yeast um, breaks up the sugars and ferments it to alcohol and other products. And the other products are so-called esters. And these esters have um, uh, the main components of flavors. You can actually make them artificially and you actually can actually taste these uh, artificial flavors in very specific flavoring terms, which is not done here. We have everything is done natural, but uh, these esters um, are done during different stages. So what you have at the beginning is, um, yeah, you have rough bubbling and the yeast is growing and it's producing alcohol and you see a lot of foam at the first stage, which is eight hours. So this I, sh I show you here, and um, this is the first stage. The second stage is then at about 20 uh, hours, what I can film here. And this is, you see, there's a lot of bubbles going up. It's a lot of CO2 rising. So you don't just produce um, alcohol, you also produce a lot of CO2. And during that stage, you can realize, oh, it's beginning a bit sharper and a bit more acidic, which is, yeah, you can feel it. Then uh, later, you get to 36 hours, you see the foam is pretty much gone, but there's still a lot of going. So the um, alcoholic fermentation goes on till about 40 hours-ish, somewhere around there, some say 48 hours. It depends on temperature. It depends on the yeast. It depends on the sugar content. So around there, you have the alcoholic fermentation coming to an end, let's say it that way. And here in the la last picture, we have 45 minutes. There is not much going on anymore uh, in terms of alcoholic fermentation. And this is an important step where the lactobacterial fermentation kicks in, which is another kind of fermentation, which is not done by the yeast, but by lactobacteria. And they are producing a lot of flavors. And this is very interesting because you can then create more flavors, different flavors. And the longer you stay, the longer it becomes uh, into a very yeah, fruity type of whiskey. And this goes even on if you can stay at that point, the, the what do you call it, the activeness. Maybe it goes down a little bit after the more 48 hours, uh, but it, it stays down. It doesn't come up, it doesn't bubble anymore very heftily. There's not much foam going on. And yeah, the longer you stay, the more fruity it will become. Yeah, that was a bit of a take about fermentation, why it's important for making whiskey.